Have you ever wondered why we get angry? It's a question that invites us to delve into the nature of anger, a fundamental human emotion. Like all emotions, anger has roots deep within our biology. Imagine a situation where you perceive a threat or an injustice. Almost instantly, your brain sends signals to your body preparing for a response. Your heart rate increases, your blood pressure rises, and adrenaline courses through your veins. These physical changes are all part of your body's fight-or-flight response, an instinctual mechanism designed to protect us from harm. And it's within this heightened state of physiological arousal that the emotion of anger is often born. It's a natural, biological response to perceived threats. But this raises another intriguing question. So, anger is a natural response to perceived threats, but why is it that some of us seem to get angry more easily than others? It turns out our psychological makeup plays a significant role in how we experience and express anger. Anger is not just an isolated reaction, but rather a complex interplay of our past experiences, learned behaviors, and coping mechanisms. Think about it. If as a child you were frequently exposed to aggressive behavior, you might come to view anger as a normal, even acceptable way to express dissatisfaction. On the other hand, if you were taught to suppress your anger, you may struggle with expressing it in a healthy way as an adult. Our personality traits and mental health conditions can also influence how we respond to anger. Some of us might have a lower threshold for frustration, making us more susceptible to anger. Others, particularly those dealing with conditions like depression or anxiety, might experience anger more intensely or frequently. Understanding the psychological factors that contribute to anger can help us manage it more effectively, but how exactly do we do that? Managing anger involves recognizing its triggers, understanding its roots, and learning healthier ways to express it. It's like a detective's work, peeling back the layers, examining the clues, and piecing together your personal anger puzzle. One of the most effective ways to manage anger is through mindfulness. This involves being fully present in the moment, acknowledging your emotions without judgment, and letting them pass without acting on them impulsively. Another crucial strategy is developing better communication skills. Anger can often be a response to feeling misunderstood or unheard. By learning to express your feelings calmly and clearly, you can prevent misunderstandings that might ignite your anger. And let's not forget, it's perfectly okay to seek professional help if your anger feels overwhelming. Therapists and counselors are trained to help you navigate your emotions and provide you with tools to manage them effectively. Remember, understanding and managing your anger is a journey, not a destination. It's about progress, not perfection. And with patience and practice, it's a journey that can lead to a healthier, happier you.